Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here, my name is Kelsey. Today is another video from quarantine, stuck inside. I'm not even gonna pretend I'm not wearing pajamas anymore in these videos. <laughs> I've also, as always, very on brand, I've got my matcha latte, and this is what we're doing. Today we're going to be talking about at-home photo shoots because you guys have noticed how much I've been shooting and posting literally every day. Content is flowing out and I've been getting lots of questions about it on how I take photos at home, like what I do, what's the process, how do you do it, what do I use, all of that. So the first tip that I want to talk about is the equipment that you have. Whether you have professional equipment or not, totally fine. 85% of the photos that I take, I take them on my phone. So if you don't have a professional camera, don't worry about it at all. If you do though, I would obviously suggest using that, but I like a mix of both. Sometimes I like really like candid, chill, like normal photos, and then sometimes I want like pro nice photos and I mix them. Um, but 10 second timer is going to be your best friend. And little tip for the phone, the back camera has way better quality than the front. So even though it's like easy to look at yourself here and like take the photo, I do take it like this. And for tripods, I have two different types of tripods. I will link them both in the description on like Amazon so you can like overnight order them quickly. But if you don't, totally fine. For years before I had a tripod, I would make them, DIY them out of anything that you have, whether it's propping it up on a bookshelf or a table, moving a chair to where you are and like putting shoe boxes and then a little book and propping your phone up. Like do whatever you need to do to get the right height and the right angle and just sort of make your own tripod. I've done that forever and it honestly still works great. And then a little 10 second timer, run on over, pose, and then go, I check the photo, I take one photo, I check it, and then I adjust accordingly. Like say if it was up too high and it was like cutting my shoes off, then I'll like obviously know to lower it, I'll angle it this way a little bit more, that pose looked bad, like you know, I'll take one and then I'll adjust accordingly and then go through them all. And yeah, that's just something I like to do, but like I said, I have two different types of tripods. I have one specifically for the phone and then I have other ones like what I'm using right now, for my camera and I'll try to find the exact one that I have for my phone because it has this little like wireless button that you can use to like press if you're like really far away and then it can like trigger the 10 second timer on the phone so that you don't have to like run back and forth like I do. I mean I don't have it now because I lost the button. But they have ones that come with this really helpful, useful button if you don't lose it. They also have a lot of apps that are really cool that you can use. I like to do that on my phone. So say if I'm shooting on this camera, I have an app. I use a Canon. I'm not sure how it is for like other types of cameras, but they have an app called Canon Connect. It's wireless, so it makes it really easy. And I can see what the camera is seeing on my phone. So if I'm like standing and posing, I can see what angles look best. I can see what I need to adjust. I can adjust the lighting and the settings from here. And I can see what my pose looks like. Then I can press and hit like to take the picture there and I toss my phone aside and I pose so it makes it a lot easier it's a really big help so I would definitely suggest doing something like that if you're not shooting on your phone it makes things like just 10 times easier now for lighting I want to talk about lighting before I talk about the background because when I'm taking photos at home 100% like I'll chase the lighting not like a good background because sometimes you'll see something you'll be like oh that's cute I'll shoot there but if the lighting is bad I honestly think the lighting matters a lot more than what the background looks like so obviously natural lighting I will wake up early just to take photos because I need like the good lighting definitely check like with times of the day in your house maybe this is just because I'm crazy but I'll know like Okay, so say it's like this time of the day, the lighting is best in this room. And like I know what side the sun comes up and sets on my house. So like early on in the day, the lighting is better like in my bathroom and like over there in like my living room. But if it's like afternoon, like sun setting, then the lighting is better in my bedroom and like in my office. So like I'll chase the lighting and I'll go by windows. Natural lighting is obviously always the best. So windows open up your door if you have a balcony and I would highly suggest shooting outside that will most likely have the best lighting for you and you always want the lighting on you not behind you even i do this when i'm shooting videos like i'll shoot by my window and i'll have the window like coming directly on me that way the lighting is like the most flattering and for backgrounds you can adjust accordingly i will make sets like completely for photos i do like minimalism sometimes i don't want too much in the background so if i find like a nice clean white wall in my house i'll like move all of the furniture out and just do whatever you need to like find the right background, you know, like if you, it means cleaning out an area or sometimes I'll make my bed like just to take photos or something. But if you want more of that like studio photo shoot look where like even the floor is like white as well, what I do two things. One is a little bit more easily accessible and it's to use fabric. So if you have like big oversized like sheets 
or tablecloths or curtains in your house either you can duct tape them to the wall this is so crazy but I have done this before duct taping them and just letting them like flow and hang down and use that as a backdrop or if you like open a door put it over and close the door and then you have like the curtain or the sheet whatever you're using flow down using that as your backdrop or what I use now is I actually have like professional like paper and stands which again like I said I'll link all that for you guys um, if I find it on like Amazon my mom is a photographer so I have all of it from when she had like all of that from photo shoots so we just have it in our house now and I set that up whether it's in like our sitting room or whatever and I will just have that draped down and take photos there and it literally takes like five minutes to set up so it's totally worth it so say if you like an area in your house that you want to shoot or outside whatever and the lighting isn't good artificial lighting I try to avoid this as much as possible but that is like your alternative option of course shooting with a professional camera also helps because the settings are a little bit stronger than on a phone a phone is just gonna kind of capture what it already looks like where the settings on the camera you can adjust and now for inspiration like what do you shoot at home where do you shoot what type of content are you even looking for obviously right now every influencer and every model and everybody is at home so I'm sure there are tons of people posting you know in bedroom shots on the bed like in the chair in the bathroom like whatever it may be but I personally like lifestyle and like candid photography so I think that sort of environment is really good for me personally plus it takes all the pressure away from posing like say like for a bed if you're just gonna be like lounging and reading a book like that's obviously really simple and straightforward like just lounge and read your book and I think it gives this very like carefree easiness to the photo um, I personally like that a lot more than like posy posing sort of things you know occasionally I will do that like an actual like photo shoot but a lot of the times if you look on my Instagram I like very like candid photos and like I said it makes posing ten times easier whether you're just like walking around or like sitting in a chair lounging on a couch I think that looks really really good and sometimes it can show off your outfit the best I feel like whatever just naturally comes to you that you're doing throughout your day if you look at it from like an outer body thing and be like oh like this could look really cool like if you're just like laying out in your backyard like having a snack like oh this probably looks really cool right now from like a second perspective like let me take a picture and just pretend like you know somebody was just capturing you living your life in the moment I love those types of photos and then a lot of times whatever content I do take but I don't love enough for my feed I'll just use it for my stories instead that's what I do it's like in between content that it's like cute and it looks good but it's not like good enough to go on my feed I just put them all on my Instagram stories yeah just have fun taking photos I love just feeling normal and getting ready in the morning doing my hair and makeup setting up my camera and taking photos around my room and it's honestly also helped me keep my room clean because like it's annoying to have to like want to take a photo and needing to clean my room like for a whole like cleaning session just to get one photo so like I constantly have my room clean because of how much I'm like filming and shooting so very helpful side tip but yeah I hope this video was helpful for you guys I hope that these tips maybe helped you out and that you guys have fun doing all these photo shoots at home if you want to check out my Instagram and see everything that I'm shooting at home I will have it here on the screen for you guys to follow me so make sure to subscribe to my channel I post fashion and lifestyle videos every single Friday and I will see you guys in my next video I love you guys so much Mwah.